Okay, so in this example solve video, I'll be using the Rubik's Connected and this website QBeast to reconstruct it. Uh, so it's basically an example solve video of actual speed solves. Uh, so it'll be interesting. Yeah, it'll be interesting what critiques I can see. Eight seconds. Though the cube turns a little bit more difficultly, so probably the solutions will be more efficient, but with lower TPS. Uh, so we'll see what the scramble is. Get that on here again. And then first block, which I don't remember what color I did. Um, so hopefully QBeast is usually pretty good at uh, reconstructing Roo. So let's see. Okay, so let me show the pieces. This is the green block with white on bottom, and this is the green orange pair, and the green red pair. So, first I did that, followed by D, D, and then U. And that pairs this up, and then we just have this pair to work with. And it looks like I saw this pair right away. So, and I noticed that DR is over here, so I can just cancel into solving it. And then this pair. And this seam LL. That doesn't change any of the edges, so that's very convenient for look ahead. And notice UL and UR is, are in the back. Uh, So now they have it there over here, and then I just solve it like normal. Uh, maybe some interesting stats here. So these are the number of moves for each of the steps. And I guess each step was maybe a little bit lucky. Okay, next one. Okay, another low move count solve. And hopefully I have an easier time reconstructing this time. Uh, okay, so I did the blue block with white on bottom. And here we see these are the red pair and the orange pair. So what I noticed is that this is a line solution. So I guess I'll just do the moves and it'll be easy to see. And then UOUR comes next. So here, uh, sorry, DR comes next. So we go with this. Uh, Okay, so I solved this pair. So you, I guess we can solve this with M2, U2, M. But it looks like I did it like this. I'm having trouble finding where I am, okay. And then this pair. 
and an easy CMLL and then LSC which we have UL and URs oh no sorry UL, URs over here but I probably have no idea where UL and UR are while I'm solving at this point but now I see them and yeah so stand pretty standard over there uh, looking at the steps so CMLL and first block were low move count on this one seconds 12 seconds okay and I think this will just will be the last one so uh, yeah I'll wrap it up with this last one And this was blue with white on bottom, I believe. Uh, actually, I don't remember. It's not green with yellow on bottom. Never mind. I told myself to remember which one it was, but I guess I remembered the wrong one. So we have this pair, and the orange edge is here. And then the other pair is over here. So I guess what we see immediately is if we do B, D2, that's kind of the straightforward solution, we get this case, which isn't horrible. Um, so I don't know if what I did was worth it, which was kind of adding a pre-move to it first. And then we get this case. So yeah, that may not have been worth it. Um, so here we see that this is connected and the edge is over here. So probably better if I did some more block building solution. But what I ended up doing is going for DR right away. And just, just solving it. And then I saw this pair. and then this one and then CMLL is pretty standard and so we see one of the UL UR pieces and I don't know at all what these are but just you just move and now we know this is the other one but it looks like I didn't see that in time. So now they're both here. Okay, yep. Yeah. So those were some example cells of the Rubik's Connected. Uh, thank you for watching.